Lynn McLeod and this is Lily and Top Mascot Bonnie. I'm here today to share my passion for horses and the sport of working equitation. Having tried most disciplines over the years, the main thing I love about working equitation is its versatility. Whether you're aiming for competitions or just something new to bring variety to your schooling at home, it's super training and has a multitude of benefits for all levels of horses and riders. And you really don't need the next Allegro or Big Star to do well. Literally any breed, type of horse can do it well and it's all about the training and partnership and trust you develop with your horse. A lot of my horsey friends had never heard of working equitation or they may have seen a YouTube clip or something on my Facebook and when I ask, why, why don't you give it a try? Most people say, my horse would never do that or I just wouldn't know where to start. Or what's involved? What do I have to do? I hope these videos help with that. And if you find them useful, please give them a like and share them with your friends and happy training. The first question most people ask is what is working equitation and what does it involve? Well, there are three phases to most UK competition, the first being dressage. The second phase is the ease of handling. And the third phase is the speed round. Occasionally, when facilities allowed, there is a fourth and optional cattle penning phase. There are six levels of competitions starting with walk and trot, progressing to novice, inter B, inter A, advanced and then juniors. The dressage is the first phase. This is done in a 20 by 40 meter arena, similar to normal dressage. At novice level, this consists of walk, trot, canter with three steps of rain back and a halt at the beginning and the end of the tests. The second phase is the ease of handling. This involves riding a course of numbered obstacles which replicate those that might be found when working in the countryside. Riders are given a mark out of 10 for precision, submission and ease of movement for each obstacles. These could be like a gate as shown here. Or the bull where you pick up the vara and then pick up a ring on the vara and replace the vara and ring in a barrel. For novice, this can also be done at walk or trot. The jug where you pick up the jug, raise it above your head, and then exit the obstacle. The pen, which at novice level, you would walk around one direction. This is speeded up. <laughs> uh, turn around and then go back around it in the other direction. The two barrels. For a novice level, you would do a trot circle to the right, then a trot circle to the left, then transition to canter to the right one circle, with a simple change in the middle of the barrels through walk, and then your left canter one circle. At higher levels, you have three barrels with a flying change in between. Then you have the sideways pole. This can be set up in a few different ways. Mostly for novice level, this will be a single pole like here. It can also be two poles parallel to each other. So you have to go off both legs. And it can also be in an L shape. The cup, where you use your right hand to move the cup from one side to the other. At the higher levels, there's also the rain back cup. And then the rain back bell, 
This can also be done with a 90 degree corridor, so you have to turn backwards around a 90 degree corner. A small jump, which can be any natural type jump. Um, the bridge. The slalom, so at the higher levels you do uh, flying changes, at walk and trot and novice it would be at trot like this. So the third phase is the speed test and this involves some or all of the same obstacles tackled in the ease of handling test but it's purely marked on the time it takes for the horse and rider to complete the course. Time faults and bonuses can occur according to specific obstacles. For example, if you collect the ring off the bull, you get five seconds deducted off your total time. But if your horse touches the sideways pole, you get plus 10 seconds added to your total time. You get points allocated according to your placings in each of the phases. These are added up to work out the final result. For the speed round, the fixed gate from the ease of handling often becomes a rope gate like this one. Working equitation really is the most friendly and fun sport which is growing in popularity here in the UK thanks to the amazing efforts of Georgia Schoen who runs the association. With this year's diary of competitions and training filling up fast, there has never been a better time to get involved. I run regular training clinics from my base here at Withington near Cheltenham and these sessions are perfect to introduce new horses and riders to the sport. If you're interested in joining in or coming along to find out more with or without your horse, please email or message me on Facebook. And for more information on the sport, rules, competition dates and other areas for training etc, please visit the association website.